My name is Jill Bates. I'm the National Phaser Pharmacy Program Manager. My family has a strong military history, beginning with my grandfather, who was in World War II, Battle of the Bulge survivor, and my dad's father, who was in the Air Force, my father-in-law, who was in the Vietnam War, and then most recently, my husband, who is a Marine. Medications are complex, and there are a lot of elements that play into how they work in somebody's body or don't work in somebody's body and genetics is one component of that and so if you can take in genetics as one of those variables and use it to adjust the medications then i think that's one step closer to getting that optimal regimen for the veteran for phaser we're developing the program so that veterans can get genetic testing we can evaluate how their DNA may influence their medication, and then we can optimize their therapy. Precision medicine is an emerging area of medicine where the goal is to tailor or individualize therapies to a patient's unique characteristics. I'm passionate about precision medicine because I think this is the wave of the future. There's a lot that we don't understand about why certain people respond different ways to medicines or why certain people develop certain diseases. I think a lot of that has to do with who we are on the inside in terms of our genetics and our preferences as well as our environment. Um, and the more we can learn about those differences between individuals, the more we will be able to improve health. Phaser stands for pharmacogenomics testing for veterans. Pharmacogenomic testing is a specialized form of genetic testing. And what it is is genetic testing for medicines. And the idea here is that when you're prescribed a medicine, on average, patients get more benefit from those medicines than not. Uh, but there are some patients that don't benefit as much as they would have liked or their doctors would have liked. And unfortunately, there are some patients that get side effects from those medicines that were unexpected. And it turns out that some of that has to do with our genes and our DNA. If we can use this information to inform doctors and pharmacists to make better decisions about the doses and the types of medicines that we prescribe, uh, veterans can have better outcomes with those medicines. We're live at about 14 different VA hospitals right now. We have another 14 or 15 that are on deck. Our goal is to get to about 40 or 50 VA facilities by the end of this calendar year and to support them through the end of 2023. For me, the opportunity to be able to help someone like my grandfather earlier in his life. Seeing what my husband, you know, has experienced after his service in the military and how it's impacted his life. Just knowing that I'm serving those who served to maybe help means a lot to me that I can support in that way. For me, working at the VA is a deeply rewarding experience. We don't have uh, military members in our, in our family. We're a family of immigrants, and this country has given us all an amazing opportunity to live a fulfilling life, to raise families, have children, and to be successful. Even though I can't directly contribute uh, and pay back in, in terms of military service, to me, to be able to serve veterans when they come back to the VA is, 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 is a small way of paying gratitude to what this country has given to me and my family and the opportunities that they've given us.